Right, it's that time of the month again. Just got to take my glasses off. I do my vlog and uh, talk about progress and talk about things. Um, this month uh, I've lost three pounds. Well, still chuffed. Uh, still losing weight, which is better than putting it on, most certainly. Um, I'm down to 26 stone and 7 pounds. Uh, I'm also going to talk about um, another form of uh, knowing where you, where, uh, how you've lost weight, uh, which I keep forgetting to do and I'm going to keep meaning to do it. It's measurements. And I'm going to show you where the measurements are that I measure. Right, the first thing I've done is my neck, which is obviously around there. Uh, I've gone up. I've gone from a 21 inch neck to a 22 inch neck, which is going to be really weird because all the other measurements have gone down. Uh, my waist, or my belly, as I call it, which is around there. See it? Around this bit. Has gone down from um, 61 inches to 60 inches, so I've lost an inch. And my hips, which is underneath my belly, and around, the, around there, I've gone down by two inches, down to 54 inches. So, well chuffed with that. How the hell I wear 50 inch jeans, I have no idea, but 50 inch jeans around my hips I seem to wear. As for things that I've done during the month, well, I've not done a lot. At the start of the month, I tried to do some badminton. I went out and, uh, uh, with uh, my flatmate Karina. And we played a little bit of Babington and uh, with, with an LGBT group. Uh, it was fantastic, had great fun. Uh, only trouble was that I kept, uh, my eyesight kept blacking out. Uh, mostly because uh, I kept pushing myself. Now I know I'm not supposed to push myself and I knew that I wasn't supposed to push myself. But I can't help it, I'm competitive. I want to win. I have to win. Uh, but unfortunately I I got a few good volleys in there and had a few good scored a few good points, but I uh, kept collapsing and dying every after every game and during every game. So uh, whereas everybody was going on for fifteen points, I could only manage about ten. But it was worth going. But I'm not going again until I've lost a bit of weight and I'm a bit more fitter because obviously I'm more likely to uh, keel over and have a heart attack from doing it. And uh, Tessa has promised me to pro that she would uh, raise me from the dead and kill me again for it. So no badminton until I've lost more weight. Um, I've not really been out much. I've not done... Uh, the weather's not been particularly brilliant. And on the days it has been brilliant, I'll be feeling a bit... Mm, don't want to do anything. Um, but the weather seems to be improving. And with good weather, it becomes gets, uh, I get good moods. And I want to be out in the sunshine. I love sunshine. So... Uh, this past month I've been planning my uh, my celebration uh, camping trip. Uh, I've been working out where I'm going to go from to, how long it's going to be, uh, uh, what I'm going to need and stuff like that. That's going to be my big walk to say I finally got down to a weight that I'm comfortable with, that I'm happy with and I'm finally fit enough to be able to do this walk. Uh, well, I've not actually got a date in mind. <laughs> We've got to see how it goes. The planned walk is from uh, Glenfinnan, uh, Glenfinnan, I think it's Glenfinnan, or through to Inverie, uh, which is nice. Uh, should be a three-day walk, at a slow pace. Uh, for those that don't know Glenfinnan, if you've ever watched the Harry Potter movies, uh, the big viaduct. They go over on the uh, steam train. That's Glenfinnan, and you start from there, and you walk all the way up north towards, um, or kind of like going towards Mali, I think. And you could go around the corner at Loch Ness. Oh, I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll give, give further details later on. Excuse me. Uh, so I'll be planning that. Uh, I've got. Like I said, I've been when I can afford it, I've been buying stuff to go towards the camping gear. I've got my boots. I've got uh, my first aid kit. Uh, I do have some pots and I do have a pocket rocket, but I'm going to 
change that uh, cooking system for something else. Uh, I've got some money saved up, so the next thing I'm going to get is my rucksack. Now, the reason I'm going to get my rucksack next is actually for practical reasons. Once I've got the rucksack, I will be able to spend longer out. So I can pack things like a pack lunch, uh, flask, waterproofs, uh, just general stuff like that. And I can also start with an empty pack and start increasing the weight. So start my body getting used to carrying extra weight as well. Uh, obviously, I should have the the, the 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 bag set up properly. That it shouldn't cause me too much problems. Uh, but it'd be good practice to get used to doing it. I've got a satchel, but my satchel, as much as I love it, you can't put enough stuff in it to actually uh, um, go out for a day hike. I suppose you could if you not really want to take him much. But if I want to take sandwiches or something like that, uh, and a flask of coffee, then I'll, I need something slightly bigger anyway. And it'll have a water hydration system in the back of the rucksack as well. So sometime this month I'll be getting hold of that, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I'll do a review of it once I've got it and put it into my review section. Today's topic. Uh, Today's topic is a throwback. It's a throwback to my first topic, where I was describing about how I see and what I think of um, being fat and being obese. I've been chatting to some people, and some people have. Um, I wouldn't say I've been upset or angry at me, but sort of slightly taken a mess and misunderstood. I think of what I've been explaining. Uh, because the one thing that you can't help is uh, um, there are certain there are uh, um, ailments and diseases and, and uh, illnesses that actually do cause weight gain and of course there's nothing to blame for that you can't help that that's not something you can control and it was all to do with the meme where uh, I started going about um, being told that I'm beautiful and stuff like that and uh, um, how you take it and so yeah uh, we got into this discussion we were talking about how um, this person's got uh, um, a problem I think with a problem with ovaries or uh, something to do with that and it causes her to put weight on and I agree that's fair enough the, the things I'm saying doesn't apply to somebody who has a problem with that it's not their fault, it's, there's not something that's in their control. But then she also was talking to me about uh, um, some underlying things as well, and uh, diabetes and other forms that were causing weight gain, um, lack of exercise due to arthritis and stuff like that. And then, so on. then I became split on two things, right, one, yes, um, with uh, um, the, the, the main illness or main uh, um, problem, you've got weight gain. But yet, yeah, weight control is good for the other problems, uh, like diabetes. You have to control your diet for, for diabetes. Uh, I suppose you, could, you don't want to slip into a diabetic coma. So, I totally agree with that. I, I, one of the things that I'm saying. I have to reiterate is about purely to do with people that are fat and obese and when I say fat and obese I mean obese I mean talking 27 stone like I keep saying like myself and I'm applying it specifically to myself that um, the things that I'm saying is got nothing to do with people that have underlying causes uh, that have problems and yet depression which is something that I suffer from is an underlying cause for my weight gain and it does cause me to put weight on especially when I'm at my lowest all I want to do is just lie around and I just eat things and I just eat what's there and I get bored and I eat and you have to tackle the, both of them so I'm taking antidepressants to control my mood swings so I'm not going below a certain uh, level field I must have remembered to lower my camera a bit so you can see my hands. Whoa. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I lower I, my, 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 my mitrazapine, my antidepressants are low, uh, um, controls, it keeps me at a stable 
mood. So I don't hit a low depression low. And so I tackle my depression from that way. And obviously I should be tackling things like uh, um, with uh, therapy and stuff like that. But I'm crap at it. I hate therapy. I have so much trouble with therapy. And I, I know all the reasons why I'm depressed and stuff like that. And really all I need is someone to say, you need to do this, this and this. But they, they can't do that. They just say, they give me suggestions on what to do. And then they'll work with you through your problems. But I get impatient. <laughs> Every time I want to uh, therapy, I've given up within about three or four weeks uh, because I've get, got impatient. So, for that, for my uh, underlying causality of my weight gain, uh, I've already started to work on it. The other thing as well is when I'm talking, when I was talking to my friend who we were talking about this with, um, the other thing as well is, uh, it was all surrounding this article about uh, uh, being beautiful. So I was coming up to you saying you're beautiful. And to me, I think, uh, when I look at it, my first reaction is to my physical side. You can be beautiful. You've got a beautiful personality. You're beautiful as a person. No matter what, you, what your size or what your hair colour, what your racial gender um, sexuality. Uh, you can be beautiful no matter what any of those are. Those things do not affect how beautiful a person you are. But I've got a problem that to me beauty was always seen or described as skin deep. And so to me that's what I always say. Beauty is related to, to, to physical appearance. But yeah, you can have a, be a beautiful person and be big and stuff like that. My argument is, is that you can't be, <laughs> you can't be beautiful and fat at the same time. I'm, I'm contradicting myself, but I find it very hard to explain. A physical view, you can't be attractive and be fat, and I'm talking about big fat. And um, for me, the reason it's I can't. I see someone who is my size and find them attractive is because all I see is the same things that I have problems with. I see the chaffing, I see the inability to wipe your bottom, um, so the, I, I see the skid marks in my mind and stuff like that. And because these are all things that I suffer, so I see that in other people my size. And like I said, to start off with, if you're young and you're my size, you might not have these problems. But trust me, when you get to my age, you will have these problems. And I'm sorry, but I can't say that any more than that. You know, it's, when you are my size and you're my age, you lose flexibility. You lose a lot of things that you took for granted beforehand. And you find things are even harder. You, you, your body doesn't repair itself as quickly, so you're more prone to rushing. You um, can't bend properly, so you can't wipe your arse properly. Uh, you can't bend properly so you can't get a bath properly and so on and so on you know these are the problems that I see when I see somebody my size and again it's not me because I don't like the person it's because I see it in myself that's the problems I have and therefore they must have these problems as well or they will have these problems um, but it doesn't mean that a big person isn't beautiful. And again, it's that word beautiful. It's really hard to separate. Um, I suppose beautiful, uh, like I say, uh, if I remove that beauty is skin deep, beauty is all encompassing. Attractiveness, I suppose, it could be the other side of it. So attractiveness and beauty. So yes, you can be big and beautiful, but you can't be big and attractive. Well, you can. There are people that like big people, feeders and stuff like that. Horrible thing. So yeah, that's, I like I said, I'm, uh, I apologise if uh, people get out of joint. I, I can't find any other way of putting across that the, the what I'm talking about is most of what I talk about is specific to myself. Most of what I talk when it comes to um, weight and stuff like that, I am 90% of the time applying it to myself. 
and this is my journey, this is uh, what I'm going through and this is what I'm sharing with people and this is why I do the YouTube channel and this is why I'm trying to lose weight it's because it's something that I am dealing with and I'm having to learn to cope with and having to um, rectify. The 10% where I'm talking about other people, I'm not trying to pick on them, I'm not trying to f uh, body shame them, I'm not trying to... Uh, it's as a concern not born from, oh my god, you're fat. It's born from, oh my god, I'm fat, I know what it's like, you're going to have same problems. I've repeated myself on a few points there, but um, like I say, there's no other way I can describe it. So anyway, uh, like I said, not a proper topic today, just like the ordinary hashing. Uh, I've got, I'll do a proper topic next month, and I might do something to do with food. I think that's my flatmate just come in, so good timing. Comes to the end of the day, and she might have brought me some sandwiches. Yay! I'm hungry now. Thinking about food. I'm surprised the dogs aren't barking. Oh god, she's bought a box of crisps. How's this gonna help me? Ah. Actually, we've got a, a little thing. Which, uh, um, which, uh, yeah, we've we got a little thing. Karina keeps all the boxes of um, crisps in the room. <laughs> She keeps all the boxes in the room of crisps, and every day it's like if I want a pack of crisps, I get a pack of crisps, so she just gives me the ones I, I like, which is a prawn cocktail. So she passes me the prawn cocktails, and so that way I keep to one pack of crisps a day. Buy my mug! Someone's been shopping. She hasn't bought this for me, this is for her. She saw it the other day and she actually loved it. She's like, I like that! But she's not a Batman fan. I like it because it's cool. It's got it's, like because the logo feeds into bats. Okay, it's cool. If you say. So, <laughs> but she's not a bad fan. Terrible. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say some some other good news as well that I was gonna talk about as well. Now we got all the uh, nasty stuff out of the way and stuff like that. Um, well, it's not really nasty stuff. It's it was. There was points to it. I'm waffling now because there's box of crisps over there. Um, I have to say thank you. Uh, there have been a few people that have uh, been fantastic on my little journey on this, on doing this, uh, who've given me lots of support. Uh, Tessa, Shona, and Tessa's mum, Lucy. A massive shout out to them. Uh, they have been the main ones that have been doing the pound for pound thing for just giving. Again, everything in the bottom description and stuff. They've been the main ones uh, um, that have been given the pound for pounds. And through them, so far, we've raised £70 for the PDSA. So, woohoo! Party time! Oh, well, party time for the PDSA, not for us. So, um, great going. Uh, uh, and thank you so much for, 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 for your support. Um, I've got uh, um, Tessa as well, she, she helps out as and when she can. And uh, another big shout out for thank you. My lovely, uh, oh, she's bought that chocolate. Doesn't, that doesn't help. This doesn't help. I, she's enabling it's almost, me. It's only a little one. It's only a little one. Charlie the cat, her cat, loves these. <laughs> I, I think it's to do with the actual, the, 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 uh, the paper. Anyway, back to the thanks. Um, another big shout out as a thank you is uh, my friend, Mike Karina. Uh, I was thinking about this today. Karina mainly buys most of the food, and uh, it helps me to be able to save up for things like uh, my rucksack or uh, pay for things in the house. And though she can't physically able to do anything to actually help me, she actually supports me a lot uh, with um, just basically making sure I'm fed and stuff like that. So big shout out of a thank you for her as well. Come on, guys, more of you can come and join in with the PDSA thing. We've made 70 quid. Let's make lots of money for the PDSA. And uh, make me lose more weight. Encourage me. Spend money on a good cause and then encourage me to lose weight. <coughs> right. Next week, next month, next week, I'm not starting a weekly vlog. 
Well, I might actually. I might start doing something about food, uh, what I'm doing. But anyway, next month, I think I'm going to do a topic. I think I'm going to do a topic about food. I'm going to talk about um, what I eat, uh, how I eat, when I eat it, how I record it, uh, stuff like that. And don't be surprised if you say, oh my god, you actually eat that. Anyway, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. And uh, I'll speak to you all guys later. Uh, cheerio, bye. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos. And if you enjoyed what uh, you were watching and would like to continue to support me in my weight loss and uh, encourage me to make more videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like the videos that you liked. And please also feel free to leave comments. Uh, I'm also on Facebook and I'll put a link to the, my Facebook channel for uh, Honey Max and the Human 2 in the description below. Thank you and uh, cheerio.